This is Dan Martin's custom edition Colnago V2R that he's gonna be racing during the Tour de France. Ow! This thing is sick, and I'm going to dig into everything, how much it weighs, all its little key measurements, even this cool little Tour de France dongle that tracks them all over the place and gives the tour all types of information about what the riders are doing. But before I do that, make sure that you click the little bell there so every time that GCN uploads a super cool video that you get alerted. And make sure that if you haven't already, that you subscribe. So this V2R is one of only two that are currently in existence. One is Fabio Aruz, which he'll also be riding, and then two is Dan Martins. Now, the team has previously ridden the C64 and the Aero Concept. The bike that they've ridden before the C64 was a lugged carbon bike. This is a monocoque carbon bike. Dan's bike, though, is not like any of the other bikes that are out there. He's riding a 54 tooth Campignolo with a 39 small tooth and then an 1129 rear cluster. In the past, UAE Emirates has ridden the C64 lugged carbon as well as the Concept. Now, this bike is 200 grams lighter and not all of this V2Rs are 200 grams lighter, but Dan Martin and Fabio Aruz is and that makes it super cool. So UAE is sponsored by Campignolo. And now this is a full Campignolo super record setup. And his mechanic told us that Dan likes a really big gear to be able to sprint in. And I'm, I'm not surprised because he has put out quite a bit of power in the past when he's won all of the prestigious races that he's won. Dan's gonna be riding on a custom set of Tour de France Look Kio Blade ceramic pedals. These pedals are really, really cool. So one of the other things that sticks out in this bike are these new Campagnolo Bora WTO, wind tunnel optimized, meaning that they've been in the tunnel, they have all of the airflow and they're super fast. Matched up with Vittoria Corsa tubeless tires using graphene, which has also been shown to be super fast. These tires say that they're 25C, but they look more like 28s. Now, his mechanic told us that they're gonna be running a little bit lighter wheel when they hit the, uh, when they hit the mountains. However, Dan asked specifically for this wheel for the flatter stages so that he can conserve a little bit of energy and I assume that lower rolling resistance with the tubeless tire in this combo is gonna be perfect. Dan's cockpit is Data. Now, it uses an aluminum 135 mil stem with a carbon 35 bar. Traditionally, we see 31.8 as the clamp, but this one is 35. He's got his power meter head unit mount and, and the bars are 42 width. However, when we measured them, they're 40 C, which is super pro, very narrow. So looking at the back half of the bike, we've got the Elite Vico Carbon Cages, a stages power meter on the left side, and very uniquely is the aerodynamic D-shaped seat post that has no setback on it. And mounted to it is all of the stuff that makes it super official, Tour de France number 121, which I expect that we're gonna be seeing a lot of this tour. All right, let's get some measurements. Dan's running a 172.5 crank set. Saddle height is 76 by my measurement. The frame, I think, is a 52. Saddle looks to be 130. And my favorite measurement, the center of the stem to the tip of the saddle, 55. So this is my first time doing a GCN free hub sound check. And I can say that I have actually never done this, but I'm excited to. So let's give this one a twirl. I think it sounds pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This seems weird as f Do you do this? Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the weight of Dan Martin's custom Colnago. Drum roll, please. <laughs> 7.29 kilograms, which is wicked light. But as his mechanic told us, once Dan gets the Campagnolo tubulars on here, it is going to be 6.8 on the dot, even with all the Tour de France gadgets. So. I look forward to seeing this bike in the mountains, and I think you do too. Thank you for watching my first pro bike on GCN. I hope in the future that I get a little cleaner and a little bit better, but if you wanna see some really good pro bikes that the other presenters have done, you can click right over here. And if you want to get one of these super American, if you didn't know, I'm American, GCN t-shirts, then there's a link right down here.